go being on the phone with him and talking to him and i literally have nothing against the kid my question is why does he keep going like he keeps going i literally asked him last night like i was so nice about it i was like can you please stop talking about me can you please not mention me on your live anymore and i literally get screen records of him talking like um uh, of him saying that i wanted him or that i got on like i went to him literally he tried messing with me, Lexi, and Premier in San Antonio. He's such a liar. My point is proven. Ari, like, literally, what? It's like, I'm so lost. Like, I didn't, like, what? It's like, I didn't, like, I did not go on to him. Like, I'm telling you right now, I was, oh, my God. I was literally told by people in the house that he stayed with that he would walk around the house saying something about, like, oh, Desiree doesn't want this work or this and that and this. Because I don't. Like, I do not. Like, I do not want and I have to do nothing with, like, who? Like, what? It's like, I'm so lost. Like, and the thing is that the crazy part is that um he literally um i literally asked him like i asked him so nicely i was can you please not mention me on your life can you please not talk about me can you not go live tomorrow and speak on it like literally that's all i'm asking you to do and then i get these screen recordings of him to saying some stuff some stuff about me and i'm just like i literally asked you not to say anything about me and i even um girl yes he tried that's what i'm saying bro like what it's like that's what i don't understand like literally i literally like what it's like i'm so confused on what he's saying it was my first day meeting him too i was like that's what i'm like i don't know and the thing is it was like yeah we met whatever i facetimed him the first day he was he told me he was on the phone he was like hey desert can you let me borrow 50 dollars i was like yeah, yeah for sure like you know like i was being nice about it and then then the next day he calls me he's like hey i can come to lax like right now to come see you before you leave so i was just like i didn't want to say like i didn't like you know i wasn't it wasn't that it was weird or it was just like not i'm just like me i as a person i'm so weird like in person like i'm a very anti-social person so i'm not like out of my shell right away when i meet you or anything so it's like it was kind of weird for me to like for him to like drive two hours to come see me at the airport like not weird but it was like you know like you don't like i don't know so he drove two hours to the airport and then he, i shared my location um with him and he said because you and diego were defending each other he was like they should basically get married and what is his concern about me having my friends back that's what you do as a friend because clearly as a friend he so-called being a friend put my business out there like what kind of friend does that like you don't do that as a friend quote-unquote friend whatever you want to call yourself because just because i defended someone and he defended my name literally what like that makes no sense i don't know what amador's issue is with me being friends with um diego i don't know what his issue is like i literally like i can't like i literally okay so keep in mind I, I don't know if you guys watched the YouTube video of um, Danny where I said my last kiss, the person that I last kissed was Diego. Um, Amador texted me. He had an issue about it. My question is, why do you have an issue about who I kiss? You are not my boyfriend. You are not who to tell me who to kiss and who to not kiss. That's the thing I don't understand. And he was telling me like, oh, it's because people are like, he told me he was like, you just made yourself look dumb or something or in this and that. And I don't know what I was like, I clearly do not care what other pe people have to think about me. Like I told him and he knows that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he in your business. That's what I'm saying, Daisy. Like what? Like I'm so confused and he literally would like i don't know what is his deal like i don't know what bit him i don't know what is like going on um he like i even asked him i was being so nice last night um i uh i was like hey almador can you like not like you know i was like can you not like talk about me on your live i was like can you like delete this live and i was like don't put my business out there like that because it's not your business to put out there like that like you know and i as a person i trusted him like whatever i like whatever i told him whatever i told him whatever he said whatever he said but the thing is it's not his business to put out there because who is he to put my business out there like that's my question like he's like who is he to put my business out there nobody he's like like he's a, like he's nobody to put my business out there that's the thing um and my question is why what's his issue with me being like 
friends with Diego. Literally, Diego's like my best friend, and ever, like people know that. Like, yeah, me and Diego had our issue, whatever happened two years ago in 2018. People deserve second chances. So I, I, me and Diego talked things out when we first saw each other in LA. Um, literally, the first night we saw each other, we did not speak. Literally, guys, when I ran into Diego in LA, we did not speak. Like it was like you know whatever because of whatever happened two years ago we have not spoken in two years and then we actually did go ahead and sit down and we talked about whatever happened two years ago and um we talked it out we became friends you know we said what we said to each other we apologized he apologized he talked to he talked to my mom whatever happened like whatever happened happened literally i'm so confused on what the issue is um <laughs> bro what The thing is, he he's complaining about um he's complaining about um 